on, man? What's happening? What's up, man? Uh, get up to the mic. You've done this before, man. All right, all right. What's happening, baby? Hey, how you been doing, man? I'm good, man. Blessed, you know. Happy to be here, man. Thank you for having me, man. You already know. Holiday was good? Yeah, everything was cool. You know, just pretty much with the family, man. I don't do too much, man. You know, I'm right now on just like like business, man. Heavy, like zero tolerance level of being about the business for real, for real. That's what's up. So tell my audience, well, they already know who you are, but some might not know. Tell them who Porter Rich is. Yeah, man, with Porter Rich, um, Porter Rich is basically, man, just young Latino, you know, from out of uh, Camden, New Jersey, born and raised, came to city, New Jersey, you know, born and raised, just been, like, you know, behind, like, really, I'm, I'm going to say behind the scenes with the music thing for a long time, just because, like, I put a lot of things before the music for a long time, right. you know what I'm saying, but the music has definitely, like, been a part of my life for a long time, and I've been banging out with this music for a long time, and I mean, from, like, an artist's point of view, like, you know, like the first time I did a show, a lot of people, probably, you know, they mentioned a lot of people wouldn't even, like, believe it. But, yeah, like, got a Whoa. long history with this. Really? Guy. Yeah. Like, how long have you been in the game? I mean, in the game, as far as in the game, I ain't going to say in the game, because, like I said, like, I did this on a personal note for a long time. Okay. Like, just, you know, as a, as for, for, like, a hobby, like, right. freestyling and writing rhymes. We just did it on a personal note, just had love for it way before, like, it became, like, a big whole multi-million dollar, billion dollar industry, right. you know what I'm saying, we've been like rhyming on the corner and doing all that, so that's why I ain't even gonna say like in the game, but just long time, man, early 90s, man, oh, long okay. time, you know what I'm saying? When was that moment that you're like, okay, I want to do this, instead of like going from a hobby to a career, when, when, when did you get that moment? Well, honestly, I'm gonna say like, um, in like 2001, one of, one, of, one of my homies that I grew up with came up with in the streets, man. My homie Tabby, shout out to Tabby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, they had opened up a studio, you know what I mean? They had a little independent record label, Teflon Records, coming out of there when we was working with the boy Shot Kill. And this was in the city of Camden, yeah, right? Yeah, this was okay. in the city of Camden where we had the boy Shot Kill. And you know, he's probably like one of the like OGs, like of the music thing, like in my city, Kim. They had the old new dance thing back in the day. Like, they really like pioneers for the city. Shot to Shot Kill, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him. On that note, but yeah, like we, we was on the same record label at one point in time where he was getting back <coughs> as a solo artist and we was doing our thing. So that was really at the time where, like, you know, we kind of like was like, all right, let's see what happens if we take this serious, even though we still BS for like a while at right. that time. What part of Camden are you from? I'm from Pollock Town. I was, oh, okay. uh, I'm originally from a uh, like downtown area, but I moved like to Pollock when I was like nine or ten, so I've been out of Pollock over 20 years now, so word, you know, word. definitely like, you know, we'll pull, like stand up. That's what's up. Now, um, speaking about the artists in Camden, because like you're one of the main ones, you know, Fickle, Money Carson, uh, who am I missing? I mean, there, there's a lot of cats out there. Yeah, I mean, now, like, especially now, shout, <coughs> shout out to who you mentioned, though. Shout out to Fix, shout out to Money Carson. They definitely, like, working artists, you know, in the, in the area. Um, But as far as, like, the whole, like, it's a lot of people working right now, Phil. Right. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, you know, I guess, like, being as though the movement is kind of, like, you know, picking up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, with people doing their numbers. It's a lot of cats working. So shout out to all the cats working, because you can't never get all the names. Right, you can't right. never, like, mention everybody. But for real, for real, people to stand out, you got Apollo the Great. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Apollo. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Apollo on the East Side. He won like best New Jersey artist for the Philadelphia Hip Hop Award sure this year for the New Jersey artist uh, slot. You know what I'm saying? And you know me, I ain't no hater. Like I'm a congratulator. Right. And like people's uh, like honestly, when I see other dudes working hard, it motivate me. So shout out to Apollo, Breezy, the whole Thorough Boy, uh, the whole Thoroughbred Squad. Shout out to them. They definitely doing their numbers out there. And you, you got a lot, man. You got Seaweed. Mm -hmm. You got, you know what I mean? You got High Million. You got Big Lou still doing his numbers. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you got Young Cash that's on the come up. You got Point Blank Range. Mm. Point? Like, yeah. Point Blank. What's going on? Have you seen him lately? I actually, honestly, like, I actually never really, like, met Point Blank <coughs> in person. I know people. Oh, we really? got, like, mutual peoples. Like, Fick. Right, right. Fick bang with him hard. Man, Fick cool. You know, he actually, uh, he actually bang with my man JT. And me and JT actually go back, way back to like, I'm talking like, like, like late 90s, mid 90s, when a mm. lot of people that's doing it now wasn't doing it. Right, And right. we go back to them days, so, you know, it's just a lot of history behind it, you know right. what I'm saying, in the city. Now, we, um, in the studio, we have my man Porter Rich from Camden, New Jersey. Now, I want to ask you, how were you able to adjust from 
back then to now? Was it a hard adjustment because you know, like like the, like like hip hop has actually changed. I mean, how, like was it kind of hard for you, or like was, was that accepted? Because like when I I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I hear you, when I um the keep it real freestyle that you did, you know, right. I've heard. I mean, and this is a compliment, but. I was like, man, this dude sounds just like AZ on this one. You were just like, right, right, you right. went right in. So like, and I and I can tell that you have that, you can flow. So as an MC, because you sweet, we, we got like three or four songs, and we're gonna show the different styles of them. Right. How were you able to adjust? Right. I appreciate that, Phil. Um, I mean, you know, like I was, <laughs> like I said, man, like it's just. It's just like history with me behind this music thing, man. And like a lot of people don't know until they get my whole story. But like beats, tracks, I can ride on any track, man. I can right. ride any track out, like any track that you submit to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Long as it's, I feel as though it's going to be beneficial at the end of the day. At the end of the day, like producers got to come, you know, with some what of their A-game just as an artist should right. come with their A-game. You know what I'm saying? So as so long as the track is at least meeting me halfway, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then I could go ahead and take it to that next level. That's how I feel about any record, like any type any type of level, man. If you listen to like the new project we just dropped, mm -hmm. promo, pushing real official music only, hosted by my brother, Mr. Hype. Okay. You know what I mean? 609 right here with me. Like... It displays versatility, variety, you know what I'm saying? And just different, like, different hip-hop, man. Different styles of hip-hop, man. Because I've, I've lived it all, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm a versatile type person. Like, I can, I can paint them like harsh realities in the streets and give you that raunchy street hip-hop. I can also tell you about, you know, paint a soulful track, get a soulful track, and just, you know, probably paint a picture about the real trials and tribulations that people go through in everyday life. I can take you to the club, to the right, party, right. you know what I mean, to the party joints. <coughs> and that's the one thing I do like about you because you're versatile. I mean, you can, you don't stay in one lane. Right. I mean, you can, you can do or what they say, quote unquote, like the underground stuff, or you can do like the mainstream stuff, you can do the club stuff, and also we have, we have a, uh, you can do something for the ladies. Yeah, for sure. I shout out, like yeah, yeah, shout I out like to the ladies, man. The ladies, the ladies. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Not even, you know, not even like to be on my high horse or nothing. But the ladies, they, the ladies bang with me heavy, man. So yeah. shout out to all the gorgeous ladies out there. You know, the divas, the the thick Jones, the slim Jones, <laughs> light skin, brown skin. You know, I just shot the video to them girls up in the Poconos. Oh, yeah? You know, yeah. Shout out to uh, Don Beats, produced the joints. Shout out to Don Beats out in violence. Shout out to Shannon Muir over Philly. Killing them with the with the visuals right now. She came all the way from LA to shoot the joint. Really? That just go to show how serious we on our BI. You know what I'm saying? So Her. shout out to them, man. We just got it in. Shot two videos and they coming up next. Just working, man. That's, that's what's up. Hey, look, we're gonna get into a couple joints by you, and we're gonna have to get into my man's joint uh, from up north, Govmatic. I gotta play this joint. I really gotta play this joint. It's like bananas. Let's do it. But we got my man Porter Rich in the house. We got my man, my man Mr. Hype in the house. He got the cameras going. No. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, look, we're going to get into some music. They go hype. And we're going to come back with my man Porter Rich. And Side B Radio, WPRB, 103.3 FM, 609 258 1033. Trenton's in the building. Camden's in the building. South Jersey's in the building. Just Jersey's in the building. Side B Radio, WPRB, 103.3 FM. We here live. Side B Radio. Side B. You know we here, Phil Jackson. Porter Rich. We got our A game, though. Shout out to Prane. Stack holders. Brother Mr. Hype. Feel me? You see, you see the strength over here. Look, I got my ITD strength over here. Couple, you know. One knife. <laughs> My nigga Gage behind the camera. If I know what it is, man. Work, hard work. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the project. Shout out to Side B Radio, Phil Jackson. That's what we doing, Jersey, putting in work. Get with us. Feel me? Get left. And Side B Radio, WPRB 103.3 FM, 609-258-1033. 609-258-1233 are the numbers. In the studio, I have my man Porter Rich from the city of Camden, New Jersey. Yo, yeah. man, we ran down like, what, four of your joints? Yeah, yeah, y'all ran, uh, you ran Gotta Get It. Shout out to DJ Cooley on that joint. Then I think y'all play uh, in, and out, in and Out the Game. Shout out to uh, Flash and Ooh. Shout out to uh, DJ Wreck, he produced the joint. Flash and Ooh featured on the joint. 
definitely like two of the craziest like dudes doing in Jersey right now. Um, uh, y'all also play uh, what was it? Playing with fire. Yeah. They playing with fire. Crazy joint right there. Um, and them girls too. And them girls, yeah. Shout out to my man Don Beach. Yeah, Don Beach, crazy nigga. Yeah, that's my man out in Vine, New Jersey. Shout out to Don Vine. Beach. Yeah, right. yeah, my man Don Beats producer. I'll oh, vibe <coughs> crazy with it, man. Y'all need to get at him hard. Y'all need to get at him. Y'all know me better, man. You need to get at him. See, the reason I wanted to play those four because I did actually sneak in and, um, playing with Fire because I wanted to show like different levels of how you know, of, of, of your style. You see, because right. every every those four tracks were different. They were they were totally different. Which one out of the four tracks do you like the most? Mm, I ain't even gonna lie, you know, I I'm not even gonna lie to you, like one of the joints, like them girls is definitely one of my favorite joints, yeah, like some like RB joints, but being as though like I'm like a hip hop head, like the one joint that we uh that I, I think you got too, I don't think we played it yet, but the uh, the trap season. Like I think that's right. Yeah, I think you got that. I think I think we said that that's the joint, like the real real trap season is like a crazy joint we trying to push right now. Okay. Because they're like it's like it's like it could be like you know it could get like the south all rattled up and it's an east and it's like an east joint like it's like it's like a joint that just covers covers like all turf as far as like music go like i think it's just like it falls on like both ends like man a lot of people can relate to it okay that's what's up yeah. now um but when we said like when the music was playing we wanted to touch a little bit on uh the city of camden because uh you came on maybe like two or three weeks ago right <coughs> excuse me and uh you were just Telling us like the, the the situation and what's going on down there has since then. Well, I don't know if if, if if it got better or not, but right. could you just give me an update on what's going on in Camden now? Well, honestly, I mean, I'm not gonna say and say it got better, but you know, because like a change like that takes it's a process. It's right. Something that's gonna happen overnight. We talking about things that was going on just like two weeks ago. I mean, just the other couple days ago, probably like. It was probably like a shoot, and just you know me being honest, like whatever. I'm not going to do the exact calculations, but people are still like talking. Like I've been getting phone calls from like different like city officials, people that work along with like the city and do different things from mentoring programs to like just official people that's in position to do things. And you know I'm not going to speak too much on the calls I've gotten on the things that we've spoken about just because of the people that, that I've spoken to and nothing is official and concrete yet. Okay. But it is the, it, it are it is things in motion that people are trying to put together, man, like, you know, just for like us to be able to stand up and stand our ground as a city. Because it's just a lot going on as far as like, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of word out that people are supposed to be coming in to take over our city. You know, they're gonna fire like the rest of our police department and officials and people from around our area and bring in like just straight strangers to try to like like you know just take over our city and like make things better when which we don't honestly like we don't feel as though is the answer okay. like honestly like it's not the people fault in our city it's not that you know the, the, like don't blame it all on the cops like y'all you know they, they fired half the police department the exactly. so you know we lost firefighters and police and that didn't make it better so now you're gonna fire the rest of them and you know whatever think that that's that's the answer like and bring in these straight strangers who's going to come into our city don't care about our families and our our relatives it's unacceptable yeah that's in the hood like we just <coughs> you know it just can't go so like it's, it's a lot of different things going on right now and me personally, like I love my hood, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole King of the City, man. You know, and we're gonna do what we can, man. Like I ain't gonna lie, I'm not no politician, I'm right. not no, you know, no no civil rights, whatever, but like I'm I'm definitely a, a Camden native, a Camden City native that was born and raised in Camden City all my life. You know what I'm saying? And Camden made me who I am, so if it's something that I can do to get back in my city, to try to help my city and better my city in the right fashion, in the right way, right. then I'm all for it. Keep me updated on like what, what you guys got going on down there, and if you need like my help, like any any, any information out, just let me know. But run down all your projects. You have how many total projects you have out currently right now? Um, probably like somewhere over like gotta be over like ten at least because like I started way back on like the crack joints. Like shout out to PD Crack, mm -hmm. shout out to DJ and Live, DJ Active, you know. You know what I mean? Like, Ant Live picked that all emotion for me. Like, he DJ for Crack, and me and Ant Live met a while back, and through him I met PD Crack, you know what I mean? I met Crack, I mean, the five, so I started off with them joints. I'm on the Crack Files, like, all the Spotlight, Crack Files Volume 2, mm -hmm. Crack Files Volume, like, 3, I believe, and then we came out with 
then I finally touched down, you know, from doing a little yoga. I did a little five years away. You know what I'm saying? I finally touched down. I got on my bike, got on, you know, got on my high horse. And I came out with the guest from back joint with exactly. DJ and Live, DJ Active. Shout out to them. Go, go check that joint on that piss. You know what I'm saying? Then we came, then we bounced right back with the uh, house flip volume one. Me and Live came off with that joint. Go check that. Um, then I came out with it. I was on the We Run the Streets joints, volume one, uh, volume 23. Shout out to Ant, We Run the Streets. Um, came out with a couple DVDs with them as well. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, I, uh, I end up, you know, banging with Mr. Hype, me and <coughs> Hype, shout out to No Frills, through No Frills. Oh, so, yeah, that's what I meant to ask you. How, how did you link up with Mr. Hype? Because you have, like, a couple uh, projects, current, I mean, like, like, that, like a month apart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so how did you hook yeah. up with Hype? Well, shout out to Hype, man. Hype a workhorse, man. I met Hype, actually, through uh, DJ No Frills. DJ No Frills told me, you know, he was like, Rich, like, you know, you a Jersey artist. He was just like, you know, you're on the up-and-coming level. And he was like, if you want to do a project, like, Honestly, the dude to do it with right now is Mr. Hype. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ Alamo, DJ Westwood, all the DJs that's doing it for Jersey right now. But he just told me, like, you know, Hype is definitely doing his numbers right now with Jersey mixtapes and setting the, you know, setting the tone for Jersey artists, you know, making a bridge for them to be able to do their thing. So I ended up reaching out to Hype, and, you know what I mean? I met Hype, and it was just all love, man. Real recognized, real. You know, even just recently, Hype told me, like, this, when I first met you, like, you know, you was cool, you spit some ish for me. But... Lately, dog, you've been coming with that ish. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's what I love exactly. about hype. Like hype gonna tell me exactly what it is, and we keep it 100 with each other. And then you know it's, it's been love ever since. So I think hype had me. Hype said he had me on a, a stereo lockdown, okay. which is an old stereo lockdown joint. It's another series that's crazy that he be doing. Everybody go, need to go check that. And then we came off with our own joint. I think we did the um, believe the hype <coughs> is probably like what the first joint we did. Yeah. You know, the believe the hype joint we did. You know, Volume 1 featuring me, AP the Mayor, and Flash. How was that project? Oh, man, that's a classic, man. That's a classic. Listen, man, everybody need to go download that. Go to thatpiff.com and download Believe the Hype, Volume 1, hosted by my man, Mr. Hype, featuring me, AP the Mayor, and Flash, is hip-hop. I'm not saying it's a classic because I'm on it, Phil. Right. I'm not saying it's a classic. It's a good, it's a, you know, it's a good, it's a good project, man. It's, it's a good project, and it's variety. It brings you mm-hmm. three different spitters. They got three different styles. They take tracks and they do what they, you know, do what they do with them, and it's crazy. It, it like all the, all the, all the finished results was crazy. Like I listened to it from a fan perspective, and like AP the Mayor, crazy with the punchlines, you know. What was your favorite track up there? On the <coughs> Lead a High Value One. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's like it's 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 a couple crazy joints yeah. on there, man. Cause flat. I mean, the one joint. I ain't gonna lie. The freestyle might be my favorite. What, which one to keep it real? Yeah, just yeah. the freestyle yeah. because hype hype told hype grabbed five separate tracks from each one of us, and then being as though it was featuring all three of us, he said, you know what? I want all three of y'all to hop on something together, and we all came together. Didn't nobody wasn't neither one of the artists that was on there like really familiar with the other artists' flow right. or what he do nothing. It was just put together, and every artist went in there and did his own thing. And what it's, what what you what you ended up with was a masterpiece. That's what you ended up with. Me, Flash, AP, the Mayor, to keep it real freestyle. It's crazy, man. We bodied that joint. The video is out. Shout out to Red Pen Media. We bang with them heavy. Salute to them. Wine the whole family. Like they shot the joint. And it was a classic, man. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I think I'm, I'm also on the uh, what is it, audio trafficking? Shout out to DJ Set. You know what I'm saying? We did the audio trafficking joint with DJ Set. Hype did that joint. Shout out to DJ Alamo, the uh, the Jersey Sucker Pro, uh mixtape is out right now. Yeah, you're on um, a couple of drums. Yeah, that's right now, man. yeah, yeah. I'm on a few projects too, man. A few people's projects, man. How was, not to cut you off, but how was you performing with um, on the same bill as, as, as uh, Styles P? How was that? How was that? How was that feeling? I mean, it was love, man. It's always love to be able to open up for the people that you know that, that like did it before us and it paved the way for us. You know what I'm saying? Because I salute like all the artists that did it, that had a shot, got a shot, whatever, and made some noise. Like I salute, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they 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 definitely like is inspiration for like artists like me <coughs> that's coming up that it can happen. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely you know an honor. Anytime I step on any stage, man. It's just work. Like, honestly, it was a lot of work. Like, salute, you know, big shout-out to Style Speed, the whole D-Block family. Like, salute to them, because it was definitely a pleasure to be in the same building with them. But honestly, like, Phil, it was just work for me. That's like, I fun. wasn't tripping. It was just it was just work, hard work. Let's go. It's, it's time to get in and rock out. I need to rock out. Paul Rich need to have a crazy show. That's the bottom line. That's what's up. Hey, how can people get in contact with you? Uh, like, if you, because if you, I know, like, 
I I know your inbox must be blowing up now with like people wanting to get verses with you. So like, how can artists or producers get in contact with you? Right. Well, I mean, honestly, like I'm on I'm on the Facebook, I'm on the Twitter and all that. But as far as like you know features, bookings, and things like that, this year we definitely trying to keep it business. You know, and that's just, you know, that's just how it is. Like, we independent artists, man. I know, me personally, like, I know what, what the grind really is for independent artists. Like, I'm like a nice a nice amount of money. I'm not going to say it talk no numbers with nobody, but right, I'm like right, a nice right. amount of money into this music thing on my own, in the Puerto Rich on my own, out of my pocket, me and my people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? My couple my couple people who so I got their money chipping with me and do something with me. But, like, so, you know, it's we. I want them to hit up, you know, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Twitter, but at the end of the day, feed <coughs> bookings and all that. Y'all can hit up Puerto Rich bookings at gmail.com. Let's do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not crazy. I'm not Jay-Z. I'm not nobody like that. <laughs> at the end of the day, like if I say I need $100 for a feature, for a verse, whatever, um, you know, whatever, 200 for a show, 250 Like if you ain't got that to put towards yourself, you know, you know, because obviously, like if you coming at me, obviously you need, you want a Puerto Rich verse. Exactly. You, you know, you want to, you want to bang with that Puerto Rich wave. So, you know, just come at me strategically, man, because that's what I got to do. Everything I got to do costs me. Right now it's really about the promo, the project we just dropped December 20th. Okay. You know what I mean? Pushing real official music only hosted by Mr. Hype. How can people get a copy, uh, how can people uh, get a copy of that? Yeah, right now they could go on SoundCloud, they could okay. go on thatpiff.com. It, it it officially be available on thatpiff.com tomorrow, sponsored and everything, you know what I'm saying? So everybody can go on there, just go on there and grab it. You know, if you see me in the streets or if y'all know how to get in contact with me in the streets, like y'all already know I got hard copies on deck, they on the stands, I've been hitting them with the stands, you know, I want people to go ahead and put them out there. I don't care what you're doing. Duplicate them. Do what you do, man. Put it out there. It's a free. It's a free joint. I gave it away for free from the rip. You know what okay. I'm saying? I didn't charge anything <coughs> for it. I want people to get Puerto Rich. I know I'm a new artist. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm comfortable with that. And I'm I'm with like you know like crawling before I walk and let people get to know me and get to like feel the music. Hey, like, how can I'm, people get in contact with you? Man, just like for real, for real. I'm on Twitter, Porter underscore Rich underscore ITD. Facebook slash Porter Rich, YouTube, www.youtube.com slash I-T-D-E-N-T, -E short for entertainment, and just Google me, man, Porter Rich, Google Porter Rich, Google Intent to Distribute Entertainment, and anything about us, anything about South Jersey, anything about, you know, what we doing, y'all need to follow, man. Cause we working. Hey, I want to thank you for coming in again. Anytime you want to come back up, just let me know. Uh, any information you want to get out, either dealing with Camden, with your city, or with your project, always come back, man. I really appreciate, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Yo, Thanks, Phil. you really have to pay attention to this man right here. This dude is very serious. I've heard him spit. I I seen the videos. Dude is official. Appreciate it. Everybody that, wants man. to work with him. Appreciate that. Yeah, they definitely knocking down my door, man. I appreciate everybody coming to holler, like, you know, hollering at a real spin. <coughs> and I can't, I ain't mad at y'all. Like, if I, I reach out to the spinners, so I know how it feel. Trust me. I reached out to artists. I've got some artists that responded. I got some artists that didn't. You know, and it's no love loss. At the end of the day, my thing is just me stepping my work grind up. And because I can rap. I ain't tripping right. about nobody. I ain't tripping about a feature. I can rap. Hey, give me a shout out real quick. Man, listen, shout out to the whole Camden City, the whole Camden City stand up, man. My mom, she hold me down heavy, man. Shout out to my mother, love her to death. My two kids out there, you know, my uh, my baby mom, and just all my family, my whole intended distribute squad, my, my man Nice, my homie Deuce, one they up here with me, my man Airport, and I'm in the field, you know what I'm saying, doing what they do, my man Laheem, and I'm on the Blizzy. Just everybody, everybody that I do music with, Flash, Ooh, Shock. Big Lou, how millions of everybody in the city, man. I can't, like, it's so many names to name, uh, Money Carson said, what's up? It, that's my man. Shout out to Money Carson. We got the joint coming for y'all, man. What you faking for? I got Money Carson on that joint. <coughs> it's crazy to be on one of the future projects. And that's it, man. My brother, Mr. Hype, man. Been holding me down heavy. He set this up. He put this in motion, man. Without him, you know, like, a lot of this wouldn't even be possible, man. So shout out to Mr. Hype, Gage. He hold me down heavy here with the camera now tonight. Just my family, man. Everybody's been on my in my corner really riding for me, man. Right. Like, like how you showing love tonight, Phil? Like, a lot of people talk that love, but for real, for real, their actions be way different. You know what I'm saying? And my thing for the New Year is, like, if you're going to say something out your mouth, man, you need to stand by it. Because if yes, you sir. ain't standing by it, like, I don't even want to entertain it. <coughs> like, not for, this, not for this New Year. Not, let's not do right. this this New Year. Hype, want to give you shout-outs real quick, man, before we get out of here? Got a shout out a whole lot, man. Make sure y'all grab that promo. You know what I'm saying? My brother Porter Rich. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to you, Phil. Sabi Radio. 
Shout out to everybody in Jersey that's working. You know what I mean? Let's keep this Jersey movement going. Shout out to the whole tri state, man. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Hype 609. We're going to do it like that. Let's do it. I want to thank you for coming up. Mr. Hype, you know, this should be like, Mr. Hype should have like a show because he's always, you and Chelly are bringing me like artists. I want to thank you, man. Mr. Really Hype, Mr. Thank. Hype, for the record, man, Mr. Hype is like the DJ Cali. Like what, what Florida doing and what Miami doing, if Jersey was doing the same thing, Mr. Hype would be like the Cali to this thing right here, man. Shout out to West Will, shout out to Alamo and the other DJs that's doing it for Jersey that's holding stuff down and a few others, Pete Cuddle, you know what I mean? Shout out to them because they definitely on their grind as well. But I look at Mr. Hype, like I said, I look at Mr. Hype as like a, as like a Cali because he's a people's person. Right. He's out here, it's easy for him to get along with the people, the artists, and and do what they do. It's easy for them to get along with these venues that, that, that have us. You know, you got to bang with him. You, like, you got to love at him. Sabi Radio 42 at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on uh, Twitter at Sabi Radio 42. And we'll be back next week. Sabi Radio, WPRB, 103.3 FM. <laughs>